If you grew up in the 1970s or 80s, you might remember the idea of ASCII art, A-S-C-I-I -I art. This is like text art. There's a great tool here called Mini Tools. I'll put a link in the video description below and it's completely free. So in this case, I'm gonna upload an image right here and the image I'm uploading is of Che Guevara, public domain image, and then it says the width of the output in characters maximum 200. I'm gonna put in 200 as my maximum width, and then I'm simply gonna click the convert button. Within a matter of seconds, it gives me back a whole bunch of text, and when I zoom out, you'll see it's actually the portrait of Che Guevara, but it's all individual letters and ASCII symbols some of them are letters, numbers, they could be different things like ampersands and brackets, that kind of thing. It's really cool. Okay, so you can download this image right down here and you can download it as an HTML file or a text file, two different types of text files. Here's the actual ASCII file. This is the HTML file. Sometimes it's easier to highlight everything in here because it's just the file. So when I go Control A, it's now gonna highlight everything inside this file because there's no text from the computer website. So I'll just do control A, right click and copy. So what you want to do is download this HTML file and then the HTML file will open up in a new window when you open it up in your web browser and you can just simply right click and copy all of the text. Let's go into Inkscape. Okay so I'm inside of Inkscape now and if you've never heard of Inkscape before I'm using Inkscape version 1.2. You can go to inkscape.org to download this. It's a completely free vector software tool, but we're actually going to use this for text today. So I'm going to go here to the left-hand side. There's a little text icon, create and edit text objects. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to make a big box right there. And then what you want to do is make sure that your font is set to courier new. And I'm using 10 point font to start, but you basically just go control V now and you paste. And we'll see right there, we've got the image now populates. When I click outside of it, you'll see it basically acts like an image. I can move it around, I can click it. The image is quite large, but I can move this around now as needed. Now you may notice that the bottom of the image is cropped, so I'm actually going to fix that right now. I'm going to click on my text button. This is going to open up my text box, and then I'm going to expand this out. So I'm going to make the box itself larger. So I'm going to drag the box down, and we can see when we do that, more text now becomes available. So you want to drag the corner of the text box down. It may take a bit of time depending on the, how good your computer is. You can see now there's no text underneath it. That's the end of my image. And now I can simply just export this. Now you'll notice there's a white box here. This is actually my palette. I've gone way larger than my palette. So when you export, if you're not inside your palette, which is this white box, I'm outside of it. When I go to export, what you want to do is take a look at the top here. We've got document, page, selection, and custom. I'm going to go to selection and we can see a little thumbnail pop up. If I just go to page, you're going to notice it's cropped because only the white square, that's the page. I don't want that. So I'm going to go to selection instead and we'll see now it opens up the whole item here, which is all the text. Now from here, I'm going to go DPI 300. This gives me a nice big image. I could use this for display if I wanted to, for example. And I'm going to export this now as a PNG file. And we can see that looks great on a t-shirt. Inside of Inkscape, you could also change the text color simply by clicking down below. I can make it now red. I could make it bright pink. I did want to point out too, this could also be a really nice digital design that you could sell as a download. You could sell this as a PNG file and just simply sell it on Etsy or even Creative Fabrica. If it's a public domain image, you're good to go. Really hope you found this video helpful. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your digital design and graphic design journey.